There's a lot to get to, so let's get started. In Florida, they just recently passed a no droopy pants law. Plumbers everywhere are outraged. In a botched engagement attempt, a man lost a $12,000 engagement ring into a balloon and just let it float away. In related news, I got 800 bucks at the pawn shop. This week begins March Madness, and it's got a lot of orange fans feeling pretty blue. The orange once again did not make the field of 65. Little known fact, the orange were once known as the Orange Men until groups petitioned the school for a name change. This also begins the 5th annual BMB Invitational. Since the tournament's begun, I can tell you who my pick is to win the whole thing. Are you ready for this? The winner of the 2008 NCAA tournament is... The Memphis Tigers. Congratulations. Congratulations. You may say, Brian, wait a minute. How do you know? It just began. Logic, guys. Listen to this. Elvis was from Memphis. Elvis was king. Therefore, Memphis will be the king of of this tournament. See? It's as simple as that. So don't go crying to the chapel. Chapel Hill, that is. I know a lot of you wanted to pick the Tar Heels to win the whole thing, but guess what? I don't know what a Tar Heel is. For all I can tell, it's just a sheep that loves pastels. Alright? I mean, come on. Who's gonna win in a fight? A sheep? Or a tiger? It's not even close. Come on. Now, if you didn't pick Memphis to win, don't worry. You can still get second in your bracket. There's no shame in getting second. Right, New England Patriots? I'm Brian McBride, and I'm going to be famous someday.